Hello children! Welcome to Christian Living for Children on Social Media. I am Sister Tina of the Daughters of St. Paul. Do you like talking with a friend or a person that you like? Do you talk to God the way you talk to a friend? What do you tell God when you pray? We hope to answer these questions after this lesson. Hannah and her husband, Elkanah, loved the Lord very much. They never forgot to pray in the temple. But Hannah was sad. She did not have a baby of her own yet. A baby boy was what she wanted the most. One day, Hannah went to the temple to pray. She promised that if God would give her a son, she would let him serve the Lord all his life. Eli, the priest in the temple, watched her while she was praying. Eli then told Hannah that God would bless her and answer her prayer. After some time, God gave Hannah a baby boy. She named him Samuel because she had asked him from the Lord. Hannah thanked the Lord God by bringing Samuel to the temple when he was old enough. She left Samuel to Eli so he might serve the Lord in the temple. She said, My heart is glad in the Lord, for he blesses those who trust in him. Hannah and her husband loved the Lord very much. Do you also love God? What was the prayer of Hannah? What did Hannah do when God granted her prayer? Do you know that God wants us to talk to Him? Yes, He does, and He listens to our prayers. We can pray not only once, but at different times of the day. As food is important to our body, prayer is important to our life because it is listening to and talking with God our Father who loves us very much. We need to pray when we wake up in the morning to thank God for the gift of life and for the many blessings He is giving us every day. We pray before and after eating to thank God for the gift of our food. We pray before and after classes for guidance in our studies. And we pray before sleeping to thank and glorify God for His abiding love and for being with us throughout each day and night. We say sorry to God when we fail to do good and when we do things that hurt ourselves and others. We can thank God anytime for His love and for all His gifts to us. We can tell Him that we love Him, or when we are happy, and even when we are sad. We can ask God for help and protection every day. Do you know the Our Father? That's the first prayer that I learned and memorized even before I could read. But we can pray spontaneously too, from our heart, not only the memorized ones. Jesus Himself wants us to pray always to God, our loving Father. We can pray to God anytime and anywhere, but it is helpful to pray in special places intended for prayer, like the church. For us sisters, we always have the prayer room in the convent, aside from the church, where we can pray alone or with the other sisters. How about you? Do you have a special place where you feel you can pray more to God? We can pray alone and with others like you do in school, and you can do it with words, a song, with action, or in silence, as long as we pray with our heart. And do you know that the Mass is the highest form of prayer? Yes, children, because it is in the Mass where we pray with Jesus and with others in the church. Don't forget that, okay? So now, children, please remember the persons who need to be prayed for. Maybe someone who is celebrating a birthday or even someone who is sick. Lord, we love and thank you for the gift of one another. 
Thank you for listening and for answering our prayers. We pray for all those who need our prayers at this very moment. Amen. So children, that's our lesson for today. See you again next time and God bless. Bye-bye.